Dirty electricity, also called electrical pollution, is caused by an interruption in 60 hertz alternating current that is delivered to homes and businesses. The major causes of dirty electricity are electrical appliances like computers, cordless phones, and televisions that operate at a frequency higher than 60 hertz and interrupt clean 60 hertz current. Transmitters that interrupt electrical current like smart meters. Direct current electricity converters, like battery rechargers and solar power generators, that cause interruption. And return currents that travel through the ground. This video will address smart meter devices that are designed to replace electricity, gas, and water meters. Smart meters use dangerous radio frequency microwave radiation to measure and monitor your electricity, gas, and water usage. Smart meters also create dirty electricity because they are transmitters that interrupt the 60 hertz current and then contaminate electric current waves. Dirty electricity may be even more dangerous than the radio frequency microwave radiation from the smart meters. Dr. Sam Milham is a physician and epidemiologist who specializes in occupational medicine and the health effects of electromagnetic fields. He is the author of the book, Dirty Electricity. You can visit his website to read his recent papers at sammilham.com. That's S-A-M-M-I-L-H-A-M dot com. Dr. Milham has done several studies proving that electrical pollution is a universal carcinogen that causes cancer, heart disease, diabetes, and suicide. Dirty electricity couples with your body because your body is an electrical conductor. Harmful smart meters communicate with the grid. The grid is a transmission system that delivers electricity from power plants to transmission substations to distribution substations and then to homes and businesses. Smart meter pollution is even more concentrated at apartments because many meters are clustered together. In the state of California, the California Public Utility Commission, CPUC, claims authority over smart meters. Every time I hear that, it's pegging this meter. It's transmitting. It's quiet now. Will you turn anything on or off? No. It's doing this all day, see? See this? Now watch what happens. The one means it's overloaded. Okay. Smart meters. Boy, that's an oxymoron. That's a They've got to call them dumb meters. It's a transmitter. All transmitters uh, work on direct current. They take the alternating current from the utility and use the switching power supply to make the direct current. Well, that's how all transmitters make dirty electricity, because the switching power supply interrupts the current flow and, and puts this dirty electricity back into the wires, just the way, same way cell towers do it. The idea about the, the meters is they were supposed to put into a smart grid, which would actually uh, measure power use by the various devices in your house, your stove, your fridge, your TV, and these would all talk to your smart meter, and uh, and the utility could perhaps perhaps optimize uh, the the drain on, on the grid, which means that they could at the push of a button they could shut you off before they had to come out and unhook you. Uh, so, but the smart grid is just going to mean more radio frequency and microwave radiation in your house. And it's, it's again, it's not an elective thing because I, I, probably down the line you won't be able to buy a stove or a fridge without this capability. So I just think the whole thing is nuts. The idea of smart meters, basically it's, a, it's just tremendously advantageous to the utilities. Uh, they, they don't have they don't have to send people around to read your meter. They, they take the, oh, this electronic digital device, transmits the, 
the usage, electric usage data back to the either substations or to a central collection point or down a daisy chain of, of houses so that they don't have, have legwork or manpower uh, involved in, uh, in read, reading the meters. And the, the thing I don't like about them is uh, they, they transmit in the megahertz range, in the microwave range, uh, either, either through air or down, down wires. Now, there was a type of smart meter, there is a type in use in other places, which is even worse. Uh, it actually sends the, the signal down, down the wires to the substation. And uh, I've seen tracings, oscilloscope tracings in a house without a meter on it, but with, with meters in the neighborhood, showing that the meter signal, in this case it was really identifiable because it was uh, only six cycles a second, which is really unusual, really low. That's where your brain wave is. And that you could see the signal in this woman's house. She was electrosensitive. That's why she paid somebody to come and measure her house. And it was making her sick without her having a meter. So it proves that these meters in the neighborhood were contaminating you know, her living space. And the other thing I don't like about them, it's a completely involuntary thing. They just slap it on your house and say, you know, love it or leave it. I mean, if you don't like it, we'll shut your electricity off. The, the other thing about them that's bad is uh, they're very liable to computer hacking. You can't hack the old meters because they're analog. So, I mean, terrorists could really knock the grid down with a little sophisticated program. Uh, who do we go to, to to get this problem resolved? <laughs> Good luck. There's a, you know, I can't get anybody to believe that it exists, number one. That's why I wrote the book. I mean, like both of these schools I dealt with in the Valley, they hired a, the same company at 30000 bucks of my tax money to make an electrical measurement of the schools. They didn't measure the dirty electricity. That's the only thing that was, it was abnormal. So that they won't acknowledge that, that it even exists. And uh, so the, I said, you know, I've, with the California Teachers Association, I've written them, I've, I've talked to the school district people. Look, the only thing that's going to catch their attention is if they get their butts sued. So I'm going to attorneys now, and hopefully we can get an attorney to, to, to nail, nail. The smart meters are bad, and in, in the last couple of weeks I've had a couple of women call me who had to move out of their homes. The smart meters got put in their neighborhood. They got that sick that quickly before the meter even hit their house. So what I'm doing now is I'm going around to neighborhoods that don't have the... the smart meters yet, making house measurements, and I'm going to make some ground current measurements. And after the meters come in, we'll see how it's changed. That'll kind of build a case against the smart meters. In a related topic, utilities can also be sued for returning electrical currents through the ground. Electricity always returns to substations because it's on a circuit. Utilities should have upgraded their return transmission wires when the population increased, which also increased electricity usage. But instead, utilities just stuck the return wires directly into the ground. So the electricity now returns to the substations through bodies of water, sewer pipes, pipes in your home, and the ground. Utilities are in direct violation of the California Public Utility Commission's Rule 33.2 that forbids using the earth for return currents. The California Public Utility Commission has allowed this to happen, and they may also be sued and held accountable.